Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Wendy's Button Box by Stephen King and Richard Chismar. Um, the, the story of this one re really found, really crept in and snuck into my heart. And I've, I'm finding the more I think about this one, the more I enjoy this one. I liked it from the get-go. I know there are some people who haven't, Max Booth the Third. I'm looking at you, um, who just completely wrote this one off. Um, I, I think that's really sad um, because they miss... It's like if Stephen King doesn't write strictly horror anymore, some people just completely write him off. And I, I don't understand that. Um, now there there are very very loose horror elements in here regarding the box spoilers by the way, especially at the end with uh, how the book ends um, with the the death, uh, the guy just growing old very very rapidly. Um, but the 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 story it has so much heart and I really appreciated that. Um, now how much. How much of this book was actually written by Stephen King? I, we could sit here and go back and forth. I myself have never read Richard Chismar's work, um, and I, I feel I know everything in here. There's a there's a clear line what King wrote and what Chismar wrote, and that the way Chismar tells it is King wrote about half the story and then couldn't figure out an ending, so he sent it to him and they went back and forth. But you can tell that Chismar had a lot to do with this one, kind of like you can tell Owen had a lot to do with Sleeping Beauties. Um, this one, it, but that, that's not to the detriment of the book, whereas in Sleeping Beauties, I feel that Owen was out of his element, and that's why that book didn't work as well as us fans would have liked. Um, but in this one, it works. Um, now, if Chismar wrote the majority of it, I don't really care. Uh, the thing is, I enjoyed it. And even if it was just Chismar playing in King's world and just taking one of King's ideas and just running with it, I think he did a damn good job of it. Um, it's a very... The writing is very sparse in comparison to King's work. The chapters are super short in comparison to King's books. Because King usually does, you know, 30-page chapters, but he'll break them up into, you know, like parts one, subsection one, two, three, that kind of thing. Um, but this is Thursday Theorists, and it wouldn't be Thursday Theorists without the theories. So, right off the bat, RF in this one, I think, what is his name, Richard... I don't, I don't know what, what they call him, whatever he, uh, whatever he introduces himself as, but it, it's Randall Flagg, we all know that. And of course, it happens in Castle Rock. Now, there's going to be a lot of tie-ins coming up with, uh, with Castle Rock, and I'm going to bring a lot of that back to this one. Castle Rock happened, I mean, Castle Rock is in the Dark Tower universe, we know that because Randall Flagg jumps in, so you have the connections for Cujo and the Dead Zone and those things, but you also have, like I talked about last time, you also have the connections with stories like uh, the Bachman book Rage that mentions Old Harlow Road and Stand By Me, or sorry, The Body, uh, the novella The Body happens in Castle Rock also. And where do they go to find the body? Out by Old Harlow Road. So you have all these stories once you have the root that roots it, Castle Rock, in uh, the Stephen King universe, in the Dark Tower universe, this is pretty much the book that roots it there. So you have neat books like Needful Things, short stories like It Grows On You. Th those kind of things will all come back to this one. So this one was important. I felt I needed to get this one out. I was going to do Everything's Eventual two weeks ago. But we're going to get to that one, um, like I said, in Rage's Thursday Theories. We're going to get to that one because there was a lot of stuff that I missed. So, are there any other connections that I missed in this one? I'm sure you guys will let me know down there in the comments below. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theories review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!